Look what turned up while going through lost things. My college degree. Yep, Bachelor of Overland Studies from the University Institute of Higher Academic Learning Studies. Dot com. Best seven years of my life. I graduated ultra cum laude. Welcome back to Cringeworthy Overland, where serious adventure doesn't have to be so serious. Put it there, brother. Slim me some skin. Psych! Yeah. When you last saw me and Miso the Adventure Cat, we were in Northern California on our way back to Arizona. We headed through the state of Nevada and had some amazing stops along the way. We visited Great Basin National Park. had a sweet waterfront camp on a reservoir. Exploring the ancient bristlecone pine forest of Great Basin, Nevada. I took the Jeep on an amazing ride to a high elevation bristlecone pine forest. By the time we reached the bristlecones, we were at over 11,000 feet. This is Miso's first time at 11,000 feet. You're visiting your first bristlecone pine grove. You're huffing and puffing at high elevation, right? We're calling you Bristleconan O'Brien. I'm a bristle cone. Summit of Nevada's Mount Washington. We explored a gem of the Nevada desert, Cathedral Gorge State Park. We took a much needed pit stop at my brother's house in the suburbs of Southern California to do some maintenance and cleaning on the rig and eat some decent food. Ah, that satisfying suburban buzz of leaf blowers and weed whackers. Six months worth of bug splatter.
This is the cleanest she's been in a long time. Look at that, a praying mantis. Thumbs up for praying mantises. Miso the cat meets suburbia. <laughs> Well, my butt is soaked now. And finally, we went through the scorching desert of Needles, California before escaping to the high country of Arizona. What's up, lizard? It's good to be back under the ponderosa pines of Flagstaff, Arizona. Flagstaff is where the nomad journey began for me and Miso the Adventure Cat, and exactly six months later, I'm circling back through to take stock of things, reassess, and see what I need and want for the next part of the adventure. Six months is a really good amount of time to determine which of the things I brought with me in the RV were worth their weight and space. My grill, my precious propane grill. And which ones were, how do you say it in English? Worthless. No reception anywhere on the dial. This thing is going back into storage. I made one improvement to my Jeep Black Bear that I'm pretty proud of. My old propane cylinder mount clung awkwardly to the spare tire. This new propane mount from Overland Axis is bolted securely to the hardtop. The best part about this particular camp is I can unhitch Black Bear from the trailer and immediately go for a nice little off-road drive. What do you think about being back in the Flagstaff woods, Mace? Pretty awesome, right? Mace, oh, you're on top of a crazy cinder pile. Look at this. <laughs> what the heck? Don't fall over the edge. Hop up and scratch. Good cat. 
It's your favorite thing, scratching in the woods. Oh, what is that? Animal poo of some kind. The amazing thing about camping around Flagstaff is you don't have to be very far outside the city to feel like you're in complete wilderness. And then once you get to town, you can get from one side to the other in 10 to 15 minutes. I thought today would be a good day to go into town and get some errands done. I want to go to the storage unit, drop off some things that haven't been that useful in the last six months, pick up some other things that I think I might need for the next step of the journey, and get my hair cut. Well, I just got my hair cut, then I went to the Aquaplex, got a workout in, shot some hoops, took a shower, put all new clothes on, and now all of my clothes are the same color, which is a little embarrassing. Let's go to the storage unit and get some things sorted out. Have you ever been away from your worldly possessions for a long time and then when you finally see them again, it's like, what is all this crap? What is all this crap? Let's see, we've got a broom, a Japanese shoji screen, all of my mechanical stuff for working on the Jeep, shelving, tables, folding tables, old reptile enclosures, office chairs and other chairs, a rug, a vacuum cleaner, Miso's cat condo from when she was a house cat, and bins of clothes and blankets. I have three seasons worth of clothes already in the trailer, and yet all these bins of clothes here in storage. Some of this stuff has got to go. Before this stay in Flagstaff is over, there will be a trip to the donation center. No, it's all precious. I must keep all of it. Look, it's my very first stuffed animal from when I was a little kid. Aren't you a good kitty? Yeah, you were my first kitty. We won't tell me so about this. What's up, Miso? Guess she figured out something was up. I pulled some things out of storage that I thought might be useful. These tiny screws for repairing my camera, a multimeter for my electrical projects on the rig, my shop vac because the rug is filthy, a real can opener because I'm sick of opening my clam cans with a camping can opener, and a real frying pan because I'm tired of making my eggs in a wok. Come on, get out of there. Come on. Duh. Well, I'd say that went well. Uh, so now that I have eggs and clams, does that mean I have to eat eggs and clams? Affirmative. I think that disgusting memory is as good a place as any to wrap up this edition. I'm going to be hanging around here for a little while, so the next few videos you see from me will be taking place here in Arizona. Until then, why cringe some of the time when you can cringe all of the time? I saved you a spot right here. And let's not forget Great Basin. Completion.